Hello, I'm Jace Thomas here at Granite Automotive with Taylor Nielsen. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about how to make a winter survival kit. That uh, season is right around the corner, coming Thursday supposedly, so if that were to happen, we're going to teach you some things you should have in your vehicle, uh, just in case you run into an unfortunate situation. What do you got, Taylor? Well, first up, tow rope. I have a vehicle that can actually pull people out of the ditch. So, <laughs> I tend to do that more times than I'd like to count every single year, and I stress that people keep these just in case they want to be pulled out of the ditch too. Not everyone has a tow rope, so if you do, you know, it helps your chances of being pulled out. Here, this is a good one. Nice scraper. I think most people have these in their vehicles anyways, and we have some here. If you don't, you can always swing by and we can get you one, but uh, obviously a good thing to have around on the cold. Uh, winter mornings, you don't have a garage to park in, and you got about a quarter inch of uh, ice on your windshield. That's never a good deal. So, ice scraper. Okay, next up, can't see them, but the jumper cables. Uh, always a good idea. <laughs> always a good idea to have these. Uh, you know, in the winter times, our vehicles might slow down if you don't plug in your diesel. You know, it might not start, especially older, older models. So it's a good idea to keep your jumper cables. And then uh, hopefully your friend can, you know, get your battery going. Terrible towel if you're a Steelers fan. You got to keep one of these. Actually, it's just a good idea to have if it's uh, maybe uh, you're stranded in the middle of nowhere. There's cars driving by and they don't know you need help. You can just fly this around aimlessly or <laughs> something similar, maybe with a bright color, and then uh, hopefully get their attention enough to stop and help you out and get you on your way. All right, next up, uh, clothing is always a good thing to keep in your vehicle. Hat, gloves, snow pants, jacket, I always keep all that stuff because I live in the middle of nowhere. You never know if you need to take a little walk or if uh, your vehicle runs out of gas, which brings me to my next point. Uh, you should always keep your fuel level really high or full, whatever you can during the winter time. In case you do get stuck, you don't want it to run out and lose your heat source. But. Treat half a tank like it's empty, that's what I always say. My favorite trail mix, in case you get hungry. No, I'm just kidding. But if uh, you do get stranded for a few hours, if you're in the middle of nowhere traveling to see family for the holidays, and uh, it's going to take a couple hours for a tow truck or something to get there, I want to have a little snack. So trail mix, granola bars, energy bars, anything like that is a good idea to keep in your bag. All right, this is a blanket. Uh, I tend to carry a sleeping bag with a really, really, yeah, and a, an emergency blanket. That's always good to keep yourself heated. I usually keep a sleeping bag in my vehicle, though, just in case there's, you know, if you, if you get stranded and you want to stay warm, it's a good idea to save on gas. You can turn your vehicle off and just use your sleeping bag. This is a must, a flashlight. Kind of a good thing to keep year-round. Um, Obviously, it gets pretty dark pretty early, um, and it gets light pretty late, so you might as well have a flashlight around just in case you need one of those. Okay, next up, shovel. Pretty important, especially if you get stuck. I always keep a shovel in the back of my vehicle, uh, whether to dig somebody out or to dig your vehicle out. Yeah, gravel's good too. Also, if you get stuck, you can pour it in front of your tires or behind them. Uh, depending how you're trying to get out, but it's also nice if you're walking somewhere and it's icy. You know, I carry one in my vehicle for even when I, just when I get to work in the morning, uh, when we've had some snow or ice, you just kind of sprinkle it on your way in, that way you prevent uh, slipping and falling and injuring yourself, but it's uh, good for a couple different reasons, so that's a big one there. Along with uh, the food that he was talking about, it's good to keep granola bars or anything in your vehicle, or if you have a, you know, a little stove with your uh, like backpack or pantry or whatever. Anyway, water is also a good thing to keep with you, uh, or just even an empty bottle. Obviously, if it's the winter time, there's snow all over the place. You can just fill the bottle and heat it up and melt snow and drink that if you really need to. But yeah, always good. A lighter and probably some candles as well. Maybe if uh, you need that for heat source for your hands or uh, light is always good. Also, people use candles and they make different. Uh, like those, what do they call those things? They're like orange, and you can light them to help grab people's attention. A flare? So a flare? Yeah, flare. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Flares are a good idea. <laughs> Fireworks. I don't know. Those might work too, but always keep a lighter, some candles. 
similar items. Uh, if you do, if you're in the range of service, or you know, just keep your phone going. Obviously, a car charger is really nice to have. Obviously, you're going to want to keep your gas level really hot, so you can continue to charge this. And you can pull up your maps just to make sure you, you well, to figure out exactly where you're at on the map, just in case you need to tell somebody who needs to come pick you up and pull you out of the ditch. Last, we've got hand and uh, foot warmers. Those are good if you. Even if you still have gloves, uh, keeping extra socks and that type of stuff, but maybe also some of these as well, because when you don't have a heat source, these can go a long ways. I use them when I hunt all the time, so um, you can buy them. They're like really cheap now, too. They're like 99 cents on the gas stations. So that's uh, you can make one of these bags probably for like 20 or 30 bucks, and it could be worth it if you really need it. So um, I think that's pretty much all we have. You can fit it all just about in one bag. and. Uh, they'll be set. Get stranded this winter. Chase one more thing. There you go. What do you got? Boots. I've I've seen people get stuck in the snow. I remember uh, a friend of mine got stuck in the snow and she had like heels on or something. So she had she walked like, five miles Ugh. in the snow on heels. Yeah, don't yeah. don't be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Other than that, that's all we got. Stay warm and stay safe.